Okay, there we go. All right, starting the day, what are we off to? Uh, Scotland, no, uh, open uh, to get some, get some breakfast. Get some breakfast, some seafood, and we're looking forward to our king prawns, is it? King prawns? Langoustines. Langoustines. And then from there, we are going to do a hike. What's the name of the hill? Um, it's called the Secret Valley, I think. Secret Valley. I don't know what's going to be so secret about this, but it should be fun. I've got my son here, as usual, long sleeves, hoodie, and let's go. Bye, you enjoy your cycle. Yes, and you enjoy your day. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to the secret hill. Oh no, the secret okay. valley. Oh, the time. secret valley. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I was very lucky to be able to visit this part of Scotland. I absolutely love it here. Check out the sign. There are a lot of Gaelic speakers here and I've noticed most of the road and town names are in Gaelic so I'm sorry if I mispronounce anything. And right now we are at the Connell Bridge which takes us across the narrowest part of the Loch Etiv which is called the Falls of Laura. If you love kayaking and are a somewhat advanced kayaker, you would definitely love the Falls of Laura. And we finally made it to open! I'm so excited! We are at the west coast of Scotland. This place is perfect if you enjoy scenic views of the sea. They also have some of the best seafood I've ever tried in my life. If you also enjoy chocolates, I've made a video about the Oban Chocolate Company where all the chocolates are handmade. That was so cool. Hearing traditional Scottish music excites me so much. You can also take boat tours to visit some of the nearby islands. But right now, let's check out the seafood. I thought this sign was so cute. Wanted. Happy smiley person to assist our team. You know what's interesting? I don't really know if this place has an official name. Outside it says local shellfish. But if you search it on Google, it will say Oban Seafood Hut. Or also known as the Green Shack. But here we are where all seafood dreams are made of. The crabs and prawns are absolutely massive. Oh, thank you. No worries, thank you guys. There's even a sign that says, Welcome to Oban, the seafood capital of Scotland. Now, I'm sure there's delicious seafood everywhere else, but so far, this absolutely tops my list. Wow, what is this? Prawn. Prawn sandwich. Prawn sandwich. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of prawn. It's really good. And it tastes super fresh. Mm -hmm. Like you just got yeah. and it's just from the sea. Mm -hmm. Yes, Eddie's saying they were not stingy with the prawns like that. Huge. How much is this place? I think that's 350. That's 350. 350? Definitely worth it. Wow. Oh, wow. No way. So let me yeah. That's more than two. That's amazing. So three pound fifty would be like about two hundred fifty pesos. Wow! Well. Um, so prawn sandwich, oysters, and those are uh, yeah, it came to about twelve pounds. Twelve pounds for everything. Oops, but I'm very happy with this. I feel like for those who aren't into mayonnaise too much, this might be overbearing, but. Mm. I am into mayonnaise. Wow. This is loads. I mean, it looks more than it is. Because of the shells, but for two people, I think this is really worth it. And we get to enjoy being here. <laughs> There's the option to put some vinegar on it as well, and hot sauce. And this is already very tasty. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. wow! I'm very happy with this. Um, oh, managed to pinch the vinegar. Yep. So, over here, they use malt vinegar. Mm -hmm. I should try some of this, actually. So it's guaranteed your hands are going to get messy here, but they have a sink there so you can rinse off after. But it's part of the fun to get your hands a bit messy. Mm. Mm. 
We were told by the cook that there's this Filipino dentist that used to come here every day for the prawn sandwich, but he went back to the Philippines. <laughs> Prawns? And yeah, the ones I've had were very sweet. <laughs> Yeah. Very delicious. Very, very sweet. Which one's your favorite so far? Prawn sandwich. Yeah, I quite like prawn sandwich. Well, it's not the best, it's the best value. I'm still thinking if we should buy one for Balan to go up the hill. The secret. Yeah. Or just eat another one now because it's really good. Best value, as Eddie would say. I think I've reached my limit for now. I'm washing my hands soon. Sprinkle some of the vinegar. The last time we were here, we were going up against the seagulls. But now there are no seagulls that much. Actually, there's none. So we're doing okay. But last time they were just swooping down onto the tables to get some of the food. With just two bellies, it was impossible to order everything on the menu. But check out what's available. At least you know everything you're getting here is all local. If you're visiting Scotland, I would definitely recommend to pay a visit over to the West Coast. It would absolutely be worth it. Yes, garlic, yes. Okay, onions and wine. We used to put cream and things, but so many people are allergic. Uh, uh, so many people are allergic to things. Yeah. But yes, it's our, it's Probably after our time, yeah. Oh no, you're so, officially regular. Yeah. No, you are officially regular, yes. Alright friends, so now we are off to do some hiking because we need to burn everything we ate. But I wanted to say that if ever you came to Oban, there's a nice distillery over there called Oban Distillery. Yeah. And look for Mike, he was our guide then and he was very entertaining. So he also said that he was able to tour a lot of Filipinos. And yeah, that was fun. Very, very, very happy, um, hyper guy. So look for Mike at the Open Distillery. And I did forget to mention at the Open Distillery, they will give you some whiskey tasting. And it's one of the smallest and oldest uh, whiskey distillery in Scotland. So you might want to have a look at that. And here we are again, back in Oban for part two of our seafood bonanza. Can't wait. We have arrived! Oh my god, our second time, two days in a row, non-stop. It's absolutely worth it. I definitely wasn't over my prawn sandwich craze, so I had to have round two of that. Since I'll be leaving for Manila soon, I just want to make sure I don't end up looking for it. We ended up trying the smoked salmon sandwich as well, which is quite delicious. So I think we came here right on time. The line is getting so much longer. Yum! Salmon sandwich. I think it's smoked salmon. Very good. And it's not too salty, so it's on the fresh side. Mm. Mm. It's worth it. It's really good. Finally, our scallops arrived. That looks so delicious. The thing is, it came with a sauce which you don't really need. We have two hungry bellies. We're gonna devour all of this. So I just wanted to take a video of this nice uh, harbor over here, but look at all the jellyfishes. There's one over there, and there's another one there, and there. And basically, if you look on the beach, there's so many of them. There, there. Loads of jellyfishes. Wow. I would not want to get in that water right now. Jellyfish infested water. But nevertheless, it's still so beautiful here. Oban was absolutely so amazing. If you have time to visit the West Coast, again, I would highly recommend this area. They have a lot of nice resorts as well for you to stay overlooking the beautiful seas. And if you have more time, I would recommend to stay here minimum one week because there are so many beautiful neighboring islands to visit. All you have to do is hop on one of the tour boats here and they'll drop you off there. 
I hope to continue my adventures here in Scotland or in the UK and see you guys soon.